Welcome back to the Andrew Tate Show by GSMC Sports. Before the break, Tate was, dare I say, fangirling over Demi Moore and <laughs> her new movie. Uh, we are moving to a different celebrity news story now, and that is that Nicki Minaj was arrested over the weekend. Let me go ahead and give you some of those details. Um, Nicki Minaj's recent arrest in the Netherlands on suspicion of exporting soft drugs has sparked a whirlwind of controversy and speculation. The rapper, on her way to Manchester for a concert, found herself in the midst of a legal ordeal that resulted in the postponement of her show. Despite being released from custody with a fine, the incident has raised questions about the circumstances surrounding her, and her arrest and the impact on her tour. Uh, Minaj was, des was detained at Schiphol Airport, Airport in Amsterdam, where authorities alleged possession of soft drugs. This led to her missing her scheduled performance in Manchester, much to the disappointment of fans and organizers alike. While Minaj expressed her apologies and reassurances of rescheduled dates, the incident has left lingering uncertainties about the, star about the tour's future. Amidst conflicting narratives and social media posts detailing the encounter, Minaj's supporters rallied behind her, denouncing the arrest as an attempt to sabotage her success. The rapper herself took to social media to share her side of the story, alleging foul play and misconduct by airport staff. Despite her adamant denial of carrying drugs, the ordeal escalated, leading to her brief detention and subsequent release. As the saga unfolds, questions arise about the legality of the arrest, the handling of the situation by authorities, and the implications for Minaj's career. With fans eagerly awaiting updates and clarifications, the incident underscores the complexities and challenges faced by high-profile artists navigating international tours. So there's there's a lot to unpack here. I feel like um, do you want to do you want to jump in with your thoughts? Okay. Now when I I saw the video first. Uh, the video meaning Nicki Minaj. Yes. Recording as okay. They were talking to the, the the authorities were talking to her. Is that what you're talking about? Yes. But when people say that they were trying to sabotage her or attack her or anything like that, it was the furthest from the truth. There, um, as someone who lives who is from America, who lives in another country, also someone who likes Nicki Minaj. This situation caught my eye more because it's a fear that I have had. Um, you're not in the U.S. any longer. And things that are legal in the U.S. may not be legal in other countries. Uh, we've talked about on this show where we talk about food that are, that's fine in the U.S., that's not fine in other country. Mountain Dew, stovetop stuffing, uh, Kool Aid, mm -hmm. um, you know, food, and then like even allergy meds. There's certain allergy yes. meds you're not supposed to bring with you. There are a lot of different things. Each country has their own individual laws, and a lot of times as Americans, you think everyone that America's laws are should work for everywhere, and it doesn't. And, you know, I felt kind of bad for Nikki because as, I don't think Nikki was trying to be rude or anything, nor I thought the cops were incredibly nice to her. Um, but sometimes when you come over to other countries, taking an extra step to make sure, hey, this and, and that's this is legal in the U.S., but may not be legal somewhere else. That's why the term soft drugs kind of came up. Um, or looking at the Brittany Griner situation in Russia, where for the most part, in a lot of states, marijuana is legal. But I tell you what, you go to other countries with marijuana and you are in deep trouble. I mean, deep trouble. Uh, facing, could face years, depending on the country that you go to. So you could easily have that situation. I watched, I watched it a couple of times and it's very clear that Nikki did not intentionally, I don't think she intentionally tried to break the law or try to smuggle anything in. I think she just wasn't informed. 
um, which can happen. She didn't understand why. She I don't. She didn't even realize she was being arrested until she said, "Well, I don't, I'm not going anywhere until I I want my I get a lawyer here and things of that nature." And then the guy's like, "Well, we're trying to get you in and get you out so you can make your show." And she's like, "I'm not going anywhere." And then he informed her that she's arrested, and it was like, "Oh." <laughs> You, you know that that the, the video for me the the part of the video that felt the most compelling was was when they just closed the door on the vehicle that was transporting because it was it was sort of this very like movie moment where it just the door slammed shut it was a very heavy door and it, it, i'm sure that moment had to feel like what yeah. is going on and i will say that yeah living in another country i do have sort of like low level anxiety that there's something i don't know that's going to get me in trouble at some point um but i would i would say if you are someone that is traveling you should do your own research if you have a team like Nicki minaj probably does they they should be doing research as to what and, is and see in this one she was she had landed in the netherlands but she wasn't that wasn't her final destination she right. was headed somewhere else manchester she was headed to manchester uh so you land in the netherlands that's a whole different set of laws so you could have a situation where you know your ultimate destination is the netherlands i mean is manchester so you you're, or whatever country you're going to uh let's say i live in portugal so let's say my final destination is portugal and i may do my homework and I can say, okay, I know I can bring this from the U.S. to Portugal. But like my last trip, I flew from the U.S. to Ireland. I was stranded in Ireland for a couple of days and all my stuff was in Ireland. Well, what may be legal in the U.S. and Portugal may not have been legal in Ireland. So making that extra step to make sure you have everything. And realizing that even though your final destination is Portugal, you go through customs where you land first. Yes. So that, you know, that I don't... I'm and that's sure. what it sounded like what happened there with Nikki was she flew, maybe, you know, like I said, uh, her that Netherlands wasn't her final destination, but her first stop in customs was in the Netherlands. And I can totally see how that could happen. You could even see how a slip up could happen where it's just like, hey, I checked it out. Where we're our final destination, everything we have in our suitcase is absolutely legal and still find yourself getting arrested. She missed her concert. It was unfortunate. It's not enough to, I don't think it's enough to cancel her entire tour. Uh, I think that would be a little far, but I could totally see how she's she's not a victim. She's she accidentally it sounds like she accidentally broke the law and she had a fine for it. Uh, when you see people upset, a lot of times it's because they're thinking about their the laws and the rights that you may have in the u.s but this is someone who's traveling outside of the u.s and having to adjust to other international laws uh i'm glad it was a soft you know a soft drug violation meaning it's just a fine she's not going to go to jail or anything like that and you know you you live and learn because like like i i love nikki i i love her music and i wouldn't want to see anyone get put in jail although jails in the jails in europe are actually pretty nice <laughs> I, I can't speak to that <laughs> <laughs> no i haven't been i've just seen from the things i've seen documentaries i've seen it's it's very nice and honestly as someone when you look at dealing with police officers in the united states especially you know if you're talking drug charges and things of that nature though everybody that was involved i thought was incredibly patient uh understanding 
and actually very nice and, and very conscious that, you know, this was kind of a weird situation. So not as bad as I, as I think people make it out to be, but I'm glad Nikki, you know, Nikki is free because, uh, you know, I like me some Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> I have no follow-up to that. Uh, it would have gone many directions. So, yes. Um, wrapping up this episode. Because our anaconda don't want none. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to the Andrew Tate Show by GSMC Sports. Your support means a lot to us. So please remember to like and follow the show and leave us a positive review. It really does help. You can also follow the show on social media for more content and updates. You can find the show on uh, Facebook, X, Instagram, TikTok, and more. So come find the show on social media. Uh, in the meantime, thank you so much for joining us for this episode and we hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit and the coffee ain't hit yet. Yeah, damn, ain't that great. I don't wanna go to work.